Hello and welcome to RoboMonk Art and Tarot. I am RoboMonk and today we are exploring about a message that you need to hear right now. This is a general reading, so this means this isn't a pick a card. So really, you may want to watch the whole video so you get the entire message. Sometimes you can skip around a bit, but as this went, it's really going to be crucial that you stick around to the end so you get the full meaning of it, all right? And as usual, since it is a general reading, some things may resonate, others may not. So just take that as, you, as it is. And if it does resonate fully, that's great too. Thank you so much for being here, and let's go to the reading. Hello everyone, and welcome. Thank you for being here with me today. Today we are exploring a message that you need to know right now. This is something that Spirit has guided you to this video, and this is a general reading. Some things may resonate, others may not, but you are guided here because Spirit has a message for you. And we're going to see what it is together. The first image I see is you in the middle of all of these cards. You are casually standing, maybe thinking about something, but you are somewhat relaxed right now. I think maybe contemplating about your life. There are six cards in front of us and all of these cards will pertain to an aspect of what you're going through right now. The first thing I get is a tower off in the distance and a landscape starts to unfold. There's a mountain to our right and then the tower and then there's a river that is running by your side it goes near that bottom left card and i think it has something to do with it but we'll see later on there's also a campfire on the right at the base of the mountain Spirit is giving me almost like a landscape to work with. A lot of symbols of what's going on in your life right now. And they are all connected. That's why this is a landscape. There's a house in the background. Usually for me, this symbolizes uh, safety, uh, security, some kind of place where you feel relaxed even if you don't feel relaxed in your own home right now in the spirit channeling that's usually what it represents next I see a crown forming above this card here this really is coming to me as a very special card and spirit driven almost like coming through your crown chakra, which is the uppermost chakra of your uh, body that can receive spiritual messages. There's a forest to the left as well, a shady, dark forest, very uh, thick, hard to get through, hard to see as you're in the forest. This could be uh, symbolizing the unknown. So this is the landscape of what you're going through right now. And now we are going to get into the cards. And once we get through the cards, we're going to see how this all connects. The first card image that I get is one of a kangaroo. But it's not just of a kangaroo. This kangaroo has a little joey inside its pouch a little joey is a little baby kangaroo and this kangaroo is a mother 
This talks about the nurturing part of nature and nurturing possibly yourself and making sure that you are uh, getting what you need. Spirit is guiding me to put this image next to the campfire. Kangaroos are very strong creatures as well. So this could be spirit saying to think about nurturing your inner strength, but we'll see. And I'm getting many images for all of the cards first. And then spirit has promised me that we will see how they're all connected. The next image I'm getting is one of a rope that is actually frayed on the end, which means it is coming undone. The rope is strong, but it may not be in the best of shape right now. Spirit is guiding me to put this in the card above the tower, which could symbolize that you've been spending a lot of time alone thinking about things, maybe thinking about emotions, or something that is falling apart in your life at this time. Spirit is guiding me to draw the sun and the moon, which makes me think that the right hand side is shadow work, things that you are working on inwardly, and the sun on the left, those three cards are what you're working on outwardly. The next image I get is one of a grasshopper. Grasshoppers are able to leap far beyond what anyone expects. They are agile, they are quick, they are very strong for their size, and they are able to leap very long distances. So this could symbolize you wanting to go places, you wanting to get to a destination and honing those skills to get there. Spirit is guiding me to put this towards the mountain card. The next image I get is one of a tennis ball and tennis rackets. Whenever I think of tennis, I think of back and forth, back and forth, uh, constantly, right? Trying to outwit the competition, trying to get something, uh, get the ball where the other person can't hit it. And spirit is guiding me to put this over the home. This could be that Maybe right now in your family life, uh, there are things that you are contemplating back and forth, back and forth, or you are talking things over with a significant other about um, different things that you need to do in life. Important decisions, right? Trying to make the important decision, trying to make things work and between the two of you, you're passing this off back and forth, back and forth. The image over the forest, which is kind of the unknown, is one of a chest. Not necessarily a treasure chest, but one of a chest that you might keep memories in. I'm seeing a scarf. I'm also seeing a picture frame. What this really tells me is there is something hidden away that you may need to dig out. It may be a memory of a person that was very important in your life that may no longer be with you, but you may have something of there still with you. I can tell you that it, that object is very powerful because they, that 
object can call you, uh, call them to your side and give you strength when you need it the most. So if it's a scarf, put it on. If you have a shirt or a brooch or uh, a watch or a pin, ring, anything that this person might have worn when they were with you here in this world and they may, may have passed on to the spirit world. This will have them with you all the time or at least a constant reminder of the, and, and to give you strength because it seems right now that you may need it. You may need this strength and to know that you have ancestors next to you guiding you, giving you that strength is a wonderful reminder. I can tell you that personally. It's very important to honor our ancestors, but to also know that they are with us, guiding us and giving us strength. And this is Spirit's way of saying that maybe there's something that you can hold on to here in this physical world that will remind you of that important message. And I truly see this as the key because the next thing I see in the crowned card is one of an ice block melting. What this symbolizes to me is maybe something was stuck in your life for a very long time, or maybe your emotions seemed frozen for a very long time, but they're beginning to melt. They're beginning to melt. And with this, they are flowing into the river. This ice is flowing into the river, which means there's a chain reaction happening. There is a fish in the river, which actually is going to give you a gift. This symbolizes a gift. It will jump into the cup. All right. And it will be a gift for you coming through. Now this could be one of your ancestors set this up for you. This could be spirit just coming through and saying it's time to move. But the ice block is melting. You're getting a divine inspiration, either from your ancestors or spirit and saying the emotions are moving, things are moving, and there is a gift coming towards you. Now, I see several different things happening. There is some more downloads that are going to connect all of this together. I see with the tennis rackets over the home, there could be a lot of bills that you have to pay currently. There could be financial problems that you're really trying to balance either by yourself or with a person in your home you're trying to actually make it through and pay all the bills and make sure that uh, everybody's okay. But it's a burden between the both of you or just you. It's a real burden on your mind. So that gives more clarity to the tennis rackets of this, trying to pass off this burden or at least trying to outwit this burden, right? Tr trying to make it go away or trying to come up with different solutions. So this gift is actually directly flowing down river towards this situation. And with that, with this gift, it could be a gift of money. It could be a gift of abundance. It could be a gift of a person coming into your life. But things are going to start to click, okay? They're going to start to work together. This frayed rope of um, your emotions, of why you've been alone a lot, this reason why you've really been uh, maybe isolating, is going to bind together. Because when you take heat to a rope, you can bind it back together. It won't be frayed anymore. You can heat up a little wax, bind it together, and then it is good to go again, made whole, and it won't fray anymore. And this whole action of heating up this ice cube and watching this reaction flow, 
causes this heat to come over to the frayed rope, causes your emotions to actually come back together and you will feel whole again so that you can actually step outside of that tower and you're going to seek this warmth, right? You're going to seek this warmth towards the campfire here on the right. And with that, you're going to feel happier. You're going to feel more alive. You're going to feel more nurtured, just like the kangaroo. So much so that there may have been a lot of inner turmoil or inner goals that you've wanted to I, if it's inner turmoil, you wanted to get rid of it, you wanted to calm it down. If it's an inner goal that you wanted to accomplish, say like to climb this mountain, you're going to have the inner strength now to accomplish it because you're feeling whole. You aren't worrying about these bills or these responsibilities that are too much because of this gift coming through. I think you're going to get a huge opportunity coming up that is going to help you in your current situation. It's going to help be uh, a guiding light towards your goals. And you are going to feel like spirit is coming down and crowning you. You're going to feel this inner love, self love, and feeling whole again. And to clarify, this this gift right this fish in a cup which we all know from tarot means a gift it can be it can be a love offering i am seeing definitely uh, money unexpected money coming your way or unexpected knowledge as well this unexpected information that is going to help you get through what you're going through right now and you're going to feel so much better. I know we can all stress out about bills or certain situations that just seem out of our control. And maybe there's, there's nothing that you can do with it at the time, except for wait. Well, the waiting is over. I also saw a pencil down there, which may mean more education coming your way. Uh, I, you could be starting a new education process. There could be different skills that you're going to learn. And that leads to more money and relieving those problems as well. But there's definitely an opportunity coming your way. But just remember, look back and know that spirit is with you. Know that your ancestors are looking over you and guiding you. So if you have one of those little uh, remembrances of your ancestors, dig it out, have it around you, know that you aren't alone. And this will kick off so much more in your life. So there you go. Thank you so much for being here and staying till the end. This is why I needed you to stay to the end, as you can see, because there's a lot of information coming through this and it may not have made sense if you just skipped around okay so i hope this resonates with you i hope this gives you peace and love and i just want to say from robo monk peace and blessings to you now and in the future take care until next time